Hey guys, it's Andy here, recovering from the whole Christmas slash New Year thing. Um, think I've got a bit of a cold, but you know, it doesn't matter because candles. Girls love them. But they do tend to come in kind of, well, boring shapes. So let's do something about that, shall we? I'm going to show you how to create your own moulds so you can make your own customised candles. Nice. So yeah, let's get on with it. So in this project, I'm using this silicone mould making rubber kit to create a reusable mould. Now I purchased this from Amazon, I'm pretty sure you can get stuff like this from craft stores too. You basically mix the red stuff with the white stuff and it hardens creating a mould of whatever you choose. I'm using this rubber hulk piggy bank to create my mould, however I don't have enough silicone to cover the whole thing, so hulk's going to have to be decapitated. There we go, I then used clay to fill in the gap like so. Next I found an empty yoghurt container and used a cocktail stick and a lolly stick to make a makeshift inverted stand to suspend the hulk in the centre like this. You need to make sure the object isn't touching any of the sides or the bottom or the mould won't work. Now let's prepare the silicone. This stuff has a mix ratio of 100 to 10, you simply need to mix the red catalyst with the white silicone. As I'm making a few different moulds, I poured the whole kilogram bottle into a tub and added 100 grams of the red catalyst. You then need to mix this stuff up really well until it all turns pink. There we go. I then placed a cup of water over the top to keep the head from floating up in the silicone. In goes the silicone. I filled it up just above the head and then left it overnight to harden. When I came back to it the next day, the silicone had hardened nicely. I then removed the mould from the yoghurt container and used a knife to cut down one side. You don't need to cut right around the bottom, you just need to cut far enough so you can remove the object from inside. Out comes the Hulk head. And now we're left with an awesome mould on the inside of the silicone. Don't forget to leave a small hole at the top of the mould so you can pour in the wax. Also make sure to keep the container somewhat intact as you'll need to use this again later. Now before I melt down the wax, I prepared the wick. I purchased a whole bag full of these candle wicks for about 50p online. I then cut the wick down to size and wrapped it around a lolly stick like so. For the wax, I'm using these soy wax flakes as they're quick to melt down. However, you could also use wax from an old or unwanted candle. You just need to mash up the candle and melt it down. I'm also going to use some green wax dye to give my candle a more Hulk-like colour. Before melting down the wax, I placed the mould back into the yoghurt container which holds it all back together. There we go. I then added the wax to a pan to melt it down. Keep it on a low heat as you don't want it setting on fire. And if it does somehow set on fire, don't pour water over it or this will happen. And you really don't want that to happen in your kitchen. So once the wax had melted down, I added a few drops of dye and mixed it together. I 
I then poured the wax into a jug and filled up the mould. There we go. I then carefully placed the wick into the centre of the mould and then left the wax overnight so it could harden. The next day I pulled open the mould revealing my Hulk's head candle. Trim down the wick and it's a winner. Let's light her up. The good thing about these moulds is that they're reusable, so you can make as many as you like. I even made one in the shape of a grenade, because why not? And that's how it's done. So there we have it, how to create your own customised candle moulds. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you wish to you may follow me on social media, the links are down below, and other than that I will see you next time.